FCS against FBS. Big Sky versus Mountain West, here we go. Juwan Washington, and he's gonna stay put right where he is. Agnew now in the shotgun. And it looked as though whatever he thought he was going on, hut two, they hiked it right away. He's number seven, watch him come on the outside. Beeline to Ryan Agnew. The rest of the cavalry shows him forcing Agnew into a predictable situation where he's got to throw the football. They set up the screen. And that's well defended as they bring down Washington just across the 25. Rashid Shahid is weights deep. And this guy is a game breaker. But he calls for the fair catch at his own 32-yard line. So first and 10 Wildcats. To keep it on the ground. Kyrie Woods comes up to make the stop. And he is a threat to catch it as well. They hand it off, no place to go. Aztecs come up with the stop. Great play up front. Team three and out. Banks is coming down from his defensive end position unblocked. Looks like there was a miscommunication happening on offense. You see the offensive line slides down to the right. Yeah, I mean, the spread, he's just pulling on us. Third and two, and they got the goal line offense out there. Washington bounces it to the outside, nowhere to go. Wildcats all over it, and there is a flag down on the play. A nice job. He's number 35, split off to the side of this. Good job walling his guy in, but when he takes him to the ground, you can see a little bit of cloth there with that right arm. A lot of times that's a signal that holding could have happened. Good call from the officials. The punt is a good one. Hockey long 3-3-5 defense. You never know where guys are coming from. Five are coming. Constantine gets it out. Looking to go deep down the field. Fight for it. And the Wildcats come up with it. Devin Cooley the catch. He goes over Barku to make the play. A lot of a true freshman last year, but Constantine's going to get this ball up, and this is a jump ball. You got a guy at Devin Cooley at 6'1". He's got the height advantage, able to go up and get the ball. It's a mature play from a young wide receiver. Davis, no place to go, and he's smothered in the backfield, a loss of three yards on the play. You got a guy like Sam Hines, number 69, that big body in the middle who's able to sift and get through untouched there. We've seen this a couple of times for the Wildcats on their offensive line. Third and long. Constantine, that's almost picked off. Great defense by San Diego State. Doug Lloyd on the punt for the Wildcats. Much better punt this time. Jordan Bird. And he tiptoes up the right sideline. Their home field advantage for the Aztecs having their own stadium. Good play fake from Agnew, and they get it on the outside. Jesse Matthews with the catch. Third and long. Agnew, nice pocket. It's breaking down. Agnew's going to take off, and he'll be well short of the first down. Stopped at the 33 by Preston Smith. The Aztecs really haven't gotten anything going on offense at all. Hadn't been able to feature Washington or really get the football down the field. Great punt by Hecklin and it's muffed. But Shahid is able to recover his own muff. Three guys down, one guy up. We'll see if they bring pressure. They don't. Constantine able to dump it off to the running back. He's going to be well shy of the first down. Chris Jackson with the catch. He's tackled at the 16. Why don't we go with which team will have more punts today? <laughs> it's certainly seeming like that right now. First down is hard to come by. Bird. Three punts on both sides currently. And Bird, nice spin move, and he gets it up to the 44-yard line. Able to complete the pass, but really just a two-yard gain. Constantine, out of the shotgun, he's going to step up. Saw the pressure coming, he takes off, and he'll pick up a Wildcat first down. Been trying to get it out into space to Davis, and no place to go. 
whatever they can to get Josh Davis on the outside. I love the play call, but an excellent job on the defensive inside by Troy Cassidy. Our kind of our open's been just <laughs> tossed aside. Focus on the running back. Constantine. Deliver is, and that's off target. There was some contact there. With Wouldn't be a surprise to a lot of folks, especially on, on offense. Players know that system, and I know it's 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 early, but boy, Agnew. this feels like a different offense. Agnew trying to direct traffic. Now he's going to take off and run, and he's out of bounds, shy of the 40. Rashid Shahid waits deep, standing at his own 20. He's backing up all the way to the 11-yard line. And he gets to the sideline, out of bounds to the 22. Rugby style kick. And it's Tariq Thompson returns it to the 30 yard line. And their offense has been uh, slow out of the gate here in week one. On the ground, and here's the first big play. And they go to Jordan Bird. 9-170. Sometimes it takes any guy to get it done, but what an incredible job from the center and the right guard there. And Dixon, nice combo block to spring. How about George. the vision, too? That nice little bounce. He got narrow in a hurry, and it's Bird again, and he's giving them a spark. Now feel. You see his vision is a little bit taken up by Agnew there in that spread formation. He's really their most complete wide receiver on offense for the Aztecs in terms of his route running and ability. He knows how to get open. Third down. And they will not pick it up. A loss on the play. Fourth and three. Agnew, the throw, complete. First down, Aztecs. As Buzz, oh, check that. That's Matthews with the catch. Second and ten. Blitz is coming. They look to run it. Oh, nifty move. And the Aztecs have another first down. Blitz is coming. Agnew's in trouble, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 25. All kinds of pressure, and there's really nothing he could do. Both linebackers blitz here. That means there's too many guys for the offensive line to be able to take. There's one extra guy. They're going to keep it on the ground. And Chance Bell gets it to the 17-yard line. 35-yard field goal attempt, the first of his career for Ariza. Good snap, good hold. Kick is on the way. And he squeezes it through the uprights. And we've got points in San Diego. Aztecs lead 3-0. Had some time at the half. Maybe you could run to the locker room, give him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> High five or yeah, something. something. Let him know he's okay. It's Davis. And Davis showing off his speed before he gets jacked out of bounds. One against a linebacker. He's got Tenzino. Who's the faster guy? You have to think that your running back is going to win that every time. Excellent play call. Now look on the outside here, Ari, and Devin Cooley, number three. He's one on one. They get it out to Rashid Shahid, and this time he can't avoid the tackle. Little end around to the receiver showing off the speed. It's Jordan Bird. Now they had him lined up, not at his traditional running back position. Daniel Bellinger, number 88, the tight end. Look at him to the bottom of your screen. He's the one who gets that block. Got away with a little bit of a hold there on Connor Mortensen. Nice throw there by Agnew on the money. They pick up the first down. This thing's considerably coming out in the second half. Washington. And it appears he has enough for a first down, and they're going to momentarily stop the clock. Doing something that's a little bit unorthodox for themselves in the red zone. Oh, they tried the little shuffle pass, but that was not well executed. So he's going to have to angle this one. His college kicking is actually harder than the NFL. Uh oh, and a bad snap. And it doesn't really make a difference who recovers it. It's going to be Weber State football passing plays with a new offense and the holder not ready for the football. A little bit of a miscommunication there on the snap count. The weapons around Constantine have got to step up to help their quarterback. And to give is to Davis. 
And Davis is going to be tackled for a loss. Boy, that swarming Aztec defense all over it. Bunch of black jerseys in there making plays. Davis looks for one hole, can't, can't get in, needs to go outside. The further he goes outside, excellent defense. Textbook Rocky Long. Constantine trying to set it up to the running back, and he does to Kevin Smith. Smith spins and will go down at the 30. And fourth down coming up, and Wildcats will have to punt. Aztecs just brought another player onto the field. They only had 10 out there. Lloyd's punt. Good directional punt. And Bird's going to come up from his own 23, and he will go down at the 26. But that is on him and being able to deliver an accurate pass. It's also on the wide receivers of creating space in one-on-one -on -one situations. Big carry for the Aztecs as Washington shows he's healthy. Like that ankle is having any kind of problem, but an excellent job from the fullback coming in there, 34. Agnew, design rollout, throws across his body complete for an Aztec first down. Looking for him to step up and really be an anchor on that line. Washington falls forward, but he's a little bit short of it. I got to think this is four down territory. Of the vision that he has, he's got to get around the quarterback. Washington looked like he was going to have it, then doesn't have it, and then falls forward, and I don't think he got it. Maybe that second He effort. had to get to the 34. He never got to the 34. They get it off. Pressure coming. Constantine delivers in traffic. Caught. First down, Weber State. Justin Malone, the catch. Will Rocky Long bring extra guys? Just four are coming. Plenty of time, and that's a low throw. Is the catch made? Yes, it is. But I think he's just shy of the first down. It's going to depend on the spot. It's close. For the route, whatever the route calls for, if it's third down, you got to get past the sticks. He gets past the sticks, but takes a couple of steps. Oh. A little trickery. Ames is going to throw it up. It's a wounded duck, and it's incomplete. Oh, goodness. They would have had a touchdown there. Third and long. One extra guy coming, Agnew all day. Now he's going to buy some time. He's got to be smart with it here, and he will just toss it into his own bench. It has to year. because if you've got wide receivers on the outside, then you don't have two and three tight end sets where you're just absolutely running it down people's throat. Well, they can. you can move your wide receivers in and try to right, allow them not, to block. Oh, but. look at this play. Great special teams play by the Aztecs. Well, they run it again with Jackson. Instead, it's Shahid. And Shahid has the first down. Oh, I like that play call. You expected works, a power run. Right. They just get it off. They set up the screen. It's incomplete. Frankly, they did that to themselves. They were not ready to get the playoff. Australian Doug Lloyd on the punt. And this time he will go the Aussie style. It's the lefty's boot. Jordan Bird from his own 40. And Bird. Gets up to the 48-yard line. Nice return. Third and eight. Agnew's going to step up. He's going to take off and run, make a nifty move, and get the first down. Gutsy play there, Ryan Agnew. Five in his sight. Watch 35 and White come into your screen. One-on-one -on -one makes the guy miss. Excellent job with his feet. Tony Sanchez, hang on next couple of years. Agnew had time, now buying more, and he better just get rid of this. Oh, good, he's going to throw across his body, and it's caught. Again, the third Brett Favre play made. <laughs> Breaks down, and he gets outside, throwing across your body. I mean, this is a wonderful job from Daniel Bellinger coming back and being able to catch this football. An even better job with Agnew seeing him. I mean, it's and a game of 12, but, you up, can but that's Don't ever do that yeah, again. That is very risky. Be nice if Bailey could confirm, but I'm willing to go 100% that it's all the same family. Oh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Bailey, Agnew's let us gonna know. going to take off and reach the ball out. Does he get the first down? It'll depend on the spot. Washington with it. And thought about taking it to the outside, and instead, it's Preston Smith. He's made a lot of good plays in that safety position. 29-yard attempt. 
And the kick is up, and it is good. Nicely done. Ariza connects on the field goal. Davis on the return. And Davis is still on his feet. Davis gets to the 40-yard line. Great field position on the 40-yard return. Keep in mind, they've got Kevin Smith in the backfield instead of Josh Davis. He's number four next to the quarterback. And that ball is batted down at the line of scrimmage. They can't come up with a single first down. It's third down of the game for the Aztecs. Agnew looking. And that is knocked down. Jonah Williams, number 94. He's been really good tonight. <laughs> it's been just fantastic. Heiklin on to punt. Davis, I'm not sure you kick it at Davis, even though this is a great punt. Oh, and Davis is going to fair catch it. That is, that is turning the field over right there with an outstanding punt. Wonderful punt. He, voted. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't win he on didn't my vote. He didn't make your top no. list, no. no. Constantine, no place to go, wrapped up and brought down. You have to wonder, this might be four down territory too with the time left on the clock. Blitz is coming. They get it out now. He did not get the first down. Great tackle by Tariq Thompson. Agnew's going to go ahead and let that play clock wind down. That's the veteran thing to do from the senior quarterback. And good hard running, and it appears it's very close to a first down. And now they'll keep it on the ground, and Washington, the ball carrier, and he's well short, so they're going to have to punt from their own 21-yard line. So we'll see if that comes back to bite the Aztecs. Decent field position for Jake Constantine and the Wildcats. Can they mount the comeback? Constantine going down the field looking for Cooley, and it's picked off. It'll be Aztec football. Tariq Thompson with the pick. He's gonna look for Cooley and look for Cooley the entire time. He's not looking off of his target. Easy job for Thompson to sniff out where he's going with the football. He's got the speed and the instincts to be able to get in front and make the interception. Why are they, why are they hiking the ball here? He's got so much time. Oh my goodness. Now you use the timeout. Now you use the timeout, but no. what? I mean, if there was still so much time on the play clock. Remember, he's from San Diego. It's his 21st birthday. He's not fair catching anything. You have and to remember, too, he did have that uh, yeah, touchdown call back. Wanted, you don't want to go to check downs if you can help it. They bring some extra guys. Constantine completes it. And Ames is going to get out of bounds, but it's still going to bring up third down. They've only picked up a total of seven yards. Constantine, pressure coming, delivers, and it's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. Fourth and four. They're 0 for 1 on fourth down tonight. Constantine, pressure coming, delivers, broken up. I believe it was Thompson again. What a game for Tariq Thompson. I mean, he's your MVP. See a lot of respect there between the two coaches. So that's going to do it. Final score is San Diego State 6, Weber State nothing.